Hello everyone, as I am teaching a statistical process, so today I will explain analysis part of a statistical process. So I have explained statistical process with problem, then data collection, then data processing and after data processing we have analysis part. And in analysis, there are two things. First is de descriptive analysis and second is inferential analysis. Sometimes these are, uh, uh, we can say these are types of statistics, descriptive and inferential. And inferential is also known as intrinsic, intrinsic analysis. Okay, so what's the difference between descriptive analysis and inferential analysis? So in descriptive analysis, we will represent data on graph, charts and using measures of central tendency like mean, median, mode and dispersion like standard deviation and mean deviation. So we will analysis, analyze data on the basis of only graph, only charts or only measures of central tendency just like mean mean is a good representer of data or not we can compare on the basis of mean on the basis of standard deviation we can compare the things and in inferential statistics in inferential statistics just like elections in election opinion poll and conclusion of opinion poll kaun si party government banayegi which party is making government and ab kisko jyada vote mil rahe उस केस में क्या होता है हमारी सबके पास तो वो सर्वे करने नहीं आते दे कलेक्ट डेटा फ्रॉम सम पीपल्स एंड ड्रॉ द कंक्लूजन ऑन होल पॉपुलेशन कि पॉपुलेशन किस तरह वोट डालना चाहिए सो बेसिकली इन इन्फ्लुएंशियल एनालिसिस वी विल कलेक्ट सैंपल फ्रॉम होल पॉपुलेशन फ्रॉम बिग पॉपुलेशन and we will ask question we will collect data from this population this sample and draw the conclusion on whole population but before this task we need to identify this sample represent this population or not if this sample represent this population then we can inference on whole population otherwise we can't inference on whole population on the basis of this sample so in this we have we will use descriptive analysis also this means in calculation of different different things we will use standard deviation mean deviation and many more things but this is especially conclusion for whole population not uh, only a single simple representation of data so this is considered as what inferential statistics inferential statistics means we can't study whole population in that situation we will study a part of whole population and draw the conclusion on whole population on the basis of reliability or validity of that sample so this is considered as what inferential statistics so there are two types of statistics first is descriptive second is inferential and this comes under analysis part so i have explained all the points of a statistical process in my previous lectures so first was data collection primary data collection secondary data collection then we have studied data processing editing coding classification and then presentation and then we have studied analysis and if analysis is completed then you can conclude the result so now in next lectures we will see how to find these descriptive measures descriptive measures like measures of central tendency measures of dispersion and how we will do descriptive analysis on the basis of these things so i hope you understand this concept of statistical process completely so if you like so please uh, like my channel subscribe my channel and share for student value have a nice day thank you